Hello and welcome to Hoffmann Photography. My name is Rainer, I'm a photographer and photo instructor. This video is all about the five elements that make up every picture. Yes, indeed. Every picture consists of just five elements. Yes, indeed. Every picture is made up of five elements. Lines. Yes, indeed. Every picture is made up of five elements. Lines, shapes, textures, patterns, and colors. Not every picture consists of all five elements. And almost no picture consists of just one of those five elements. Most pictures are made up of more than two of these elements, but quite often one of those elements dominates the picture. And it's this dominant element that we are interested in in this context. Let's have a look at some typical examples. This image is dominated by the rows of lavender that result in lines converging in the distance. Even the bushes in the background form a line rather than a distinct shape. Of course, there is a shape of the mountain and the lavender has some texture to it. But the rows and therefore the lines are clearly the main subject in this image. Lines don't have to be straight. This road forms an S shape that leads into the distance. Again, the line is a dominant feature of this image. The mountains and trees along the road just complement the line that leads into the distance, into the background. The mountains and the trees, however, add some texture to the image. Here it is, of course, the shape of the big elephant bull that is the important feature. Of course, there is also some texture of the elephant's skin, but we would easily identify the animal even if it were only a silhouette, like so. Apart from the shape of the elephant, everything else in the picture just provides a background for the shape of the elephant. Here is another example. Again, it's the shape that draws our attention. And in this case, the colors are very subdued, almost to the point of being a black and white image. There's almost nothing that distracts from the shape of the man resting at the fountain. Texture is not often the main subject of an image, and when it is, the subject is usually closely cropped, as in this image of a pumpkin. There are some lines, but they do not dominate the image. The colors, however, are quite vivid, which again shows that most images are made up of more than one of the five elements we are talking about. This is a root of a tree that has grown around a rock. For some reason, both the tree and the rock have this greenish hue. Perhaps it's some sort of lichen, I don't know. Anyhow, the texture of the tree and the rock are clearly the subject of this image. Patterns are created when a large number of similar or identical objects appear in the image. In this case, the balls of raspberries. Most patterns are quite boring, though. Imagine this image without the row of bowls with blackberries, interrupting the pattern of the raspberry bowls. It would be not very interesting. In this image of a building, there are, of course, horizontal and vertical lines, but they just make up the pattern of the windows. 
This image would be almost boring if it weren't for the reflections of the surrounding buildings and the evening sky. But still, my favorite version of this subject is this one. The pattern of the windows is less dominant and the shape of the big bay window, for want of a better word, provides additional visual interest to the image. My thanks go to the architect. There is hardly any image completely without color, except black and white photographs, of course. But sometimes color can be the most important element of an image. For example, in monochrome images like this one of a female dancer in a yellow dress. However, for monochrome images, it is important to have distinct light and dark areas that model the shapes of the subject. In this image, the subject itself does hardly matter. It's actually the hull of a fish trawler. But it's the contrast between the blue and the yellow patch visible through the anchor horse. Complementary colors, like in this case blue and yellow, are always a striking combination. And sometimes not much more than bold colors are necessary for a great picture. I hope you liked this little video and thanks for watching.